Shalom. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua by Shem Akakodash. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua by Shem Akakodash. Now a son called Halalim by Yahweh by Shem Yahushua by Shem Akakodash. What I said was, uh, now a son, when you say now a son, now a son, yum, or now a son, giving, call all, halal praises, la to Yahweh, the Supreme, Most High, the Heavenly Father, God the Father, whatever you want to call him, his true name is Yahweh. And if you look it up, you go to do a Google search, you do any research with these uh, Christian scholars, they all say the same thing, that the true name of the Most High, they will give you the uh, Tetragrammaton, which is a four characters. Um, and they say there's no vowels. Well, Yah, Yah is a vowel. And Wa is a vowel. <clears throat> and his beloved son's name, Yahweh Shai. And the, these Christians in the church, if you corner them about the name and you say, what does uh, hallelujah mean? They'll say, oh, it means praise ye the Lord. So where's the name? What's, in the, what's, the, what's God's name? Oh, God, Jehovah, whatever. And you say, well, you just you just said hallelujah. Where's his name at? Because they don't know. The only ones that do know are these so-called Christian scholars. Here we have a man that's obviously not a, a, a scholar at all. Uh, goes by the name of uh, Ricky Gantz. His YouTube page is G220 uh, Ministries. Uh, anyway, the title of this video is, if I didn't give it already, doing a lot of fast talking, but the title of this video is, This Truth Has Been Hid For Ages and Now Is Made Manifest, or Now Is, man now is Made Manifest, it Manifest to the saints or manifested to the saints. This truth has been hidden for years. And now it is given to the saints. Now, the starting point of now, you can go back to uh, 1969. Um, the name of this video, as you can see, is that uh, Abba Bivens New Religion in uh, 1969. It really goes be before even Abba goes back to the command key keepers and so forth. But he was the one that he was a member of the commandment king keepers, but he left the commandment keepers. He started his own his own thing, which is the uh, prophecy of uh, uh, Elijah coming on the scene. Elijah is going to come on the scene two times. We had said this many times. Reincarnation is biblical. Uh, he is the fulfillment of uh, Elijah, Malachi uh, 4, uh, verse uh, 5 and 6. Not Bishop Nathaniel. Bishop Nathaniel is not uh, um, Elijah the prophet. Okay, that's and, that, and that's why we say that uh, IUIC doesn't have 100% truth. And they're, going, they're clearly going off. Yeah, I was watching a video that the uh, Apostle Kabar had put up uh, dealing with uh, this whole thing uh, with uh, Bishop Daniel. Uh, on this on the show comedy hype you should watch it but watch the video first first watch the video that or watch the video that uh, apostle Kabar put up first and then you can go to the comedy hype uh, video 
and uh, he was a guest on that show. And basically, he had to pretty much defend himself against slander. And he said, that's slander, and you shouldn't slander. And it's, you know, he went on this big rant about slandering, but yet, but yet he slanders us by saying that we go around raping little girls. There's one that they said that I think nine years old, six years old, which is clearly slander. So now he's got a, he's got a taste of his own medicine and he doesn't like it. Because they're saying he I didn't notice they said that I guess there's a rumor going around that members of the IUIC killed either one or, or more people in New Jersey, which I don't believe that. You know, that sounds far-fetched. And I wouldn't go around saying that based upon what somebody said or based upon what Bishop Daniel said. I'm not going to see, you know, they go around killing people. I'm not going to say nothing like that because that would be slander if I don't have the, the information. And if that was the case, somebody else would know and he'd be locked up. And that's what, that's what he said. He said, if we did that, we're, I'd be locked up. Some to that effect. So why in the hell are we going to, if we're, if we're at GMS going around graping little, little girls and then bragging about it, are you fucking out your mind? This is why the most high, this is, hey, look, this is why I, I don't even like talking to people, period, except for the brotherhood. You know, we get together, we speak, we do the closing you know, at the camp, and we spend, uh, could be 15 minutes, could be a half an hour, could be 10 minutes, just conversing, and I'll throw it at them, to the to the brothers out, out there at the closing, and say, what is, what's on your mind, what's on your mind, they're looking, yeah, what's on your mind, there's something on your mind, what's your question, what do you got to say, what, what do you have any vision, then all, somebody will raise their hand, and they'll say what they got to say, then it'll cause somebody else to raise their hand, and somebody said, oh, I had a dream, and it gets, it's like a, a fire, you know, you start a fire, you know, you, you, you get a small fire, you know, and you build the fire up and then you get a nice fire going and you hear the popping, the crackling and the popping, pop, 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 pop. got a good fire going. So that's what that is. Uh, anyway, like I said, watch, watch uh, the video. This is the last video that uh, Apostle Kabar or maybe next to the last, he might be, he said he's going to do another video. But I caught this like three in the morning. And uh, it led me, like I said, to go to the Comedy Hype video where, where he was a guest on. But you can see he was pissed off because of slander. And you can, I can go into all kinds of scriptures on slander, and that's against the law for false, um, false accusations or uh, bearing false witness against your neighbor. And these are the same guys that say you got to keep the law. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject. Anyway, let's get into this individual that really doesn't, he's, 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 a, he's a small fry, very, very easy. So let me let you listen. I hope you can listen, hear this loud and clear, loudly and clearly. Um, so here we go. In this video, I want to address the Hebrew Israelites, Cleveland uh, branch of which is the only um, I came up on them and teaching the, the false teaching here. Teach, uh, but one of them. They're teaching the false teaching that they teach. So he's that he has such insight that he knows that we have false teachings. No, you came up with your false doctrine, all right? And you're easy. You're easy. Most high women, I'll read these uh, comments too on this uh, video here. And you have brothers Israelites on there cursing them out. Stated this, what you're about to hear about where this truth 
this to that. Why that is dangerous, dangerous position. Let's take more of that after we watch this. What year was that? What year was that? What year was that? Okay, and then this thing grew global. Now you got brothers who spoke like what TFS is like. You got brothers from all over the world. So this this thing was doing the spot like a grand muscle scene. He expanded that when that brother Steve Ross was on the street. It's the biggest tree ever. That's the one that's the This is how we told him to talk about it. She's right up on our people all about the movie. You're the elect. You're the elect. Can the elect lose that salvation? The elect can't lose their salvation if they're actually the elect. You may think you of the elect. Um, if you're written in the book, it speaks about uh, the the Lamb's book of life. You're gonna be blotted out of the Lamb book book of life. If you are one of the elect from the foundation of the earth, you would not be blotted out of the Lamb's book of life. That's talking about the elect of Israel. And yes, we are the elect. And you have to be an Israelite in order to be, and then you have to be an Israelite, an Israelite first and foremost. But in order for you to be an elect, you have to be a special Israelite that the Most High chose before the foundation of the earth. Everything is reincarnated. Reincarnation is biblical. And that goes straight over uh, this guy's head, Ricky Gant, uh, Grants, Gantz, whatever his name is. So let's listen. Inheritance, inheritance is talking about the land first and foremost, but it, with us getting kicked out of the land, pushed out of the land, we also lost our our way as to who we are. Because if they said, okay, we're going to push you out of the land, but we're going to allow you to continue to say that you're the Israelites, and we're going to call you the Israelites, and we kick the Israelites out, well, guess what? You can go to the world court, Supreme Court, whatever court, and you can say, that, that's our land. We want our land back. Well, what makes it your land? Because we're the Israelites. Well, how do you know you're Israelites? These people that kicked us out of the land told us that we were the Israelites, and we knew that we were the Israelites. And he allowed us to teach. <laughs> see, see the difference between cap the captivities in the past and this last captivity is the fact that this, the slave master, Esau, the Edomites, the so-called white man, so you can understand, he whipped it out of us. Remember the famous scene from Roots? Your name, your name is not Kunta Kinte, it's Toby. And he said, no, my name is Kunta Kinte. And they hung him up and they whipped him until he submitted and said, my name is Toby. Well, that was a picture of the fact that they took everything from us. When we came over here, we didn't come over here speaking English. It says, the scriptures say Deuteronomy, 28, a nation of fierce continent, a nation whose language thou you can't understand. So how was we able to speak English? Because they they taught us, this is, this is how you speak, boy. We don't want them Hebrew words. So they had to, to take away from us our language, our culture, our high holy days. They made us say, okay, here's the Sabbath, boy. It's on a Sunday. It's not on a Friday, sundown, a Saturday, sundown, or based upon a new moon. So they took all of that away from us. And you will have to pay dearly. Do you, look, do you realize who's going to happen to you and when we get you in captivity? You're going you're gonna to get fucked up every day except Sundays and high holy days. So you're going you're gonna to honor them high holy days more than us. Because you'd be able to rest. But you were going to be on the, on the motherfucking bottom. Especially you small hats. Especially you. 
Because you, you, you the head of all this. These, these, see these, you cannot stop this train. You cannot stop this train. You cannot stop this train. It's, it's, it's all over the place. 125,000 camps. Let's listen to some more. You know me, I ran. Yeah, it's on. Us coming over here in slave ships is a fulfillment of Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Deuteronomy uh, 28, verse 48 um, speaks about us having yokes of iron upon our necks. All you got to do is go to Google, just put in a yoke of iron. Not Deuteronomy 28. 48 or yoga iron would be uh, around the necks of the Israelites which are the so-called Negroes. Just put in yoga iron. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that and I did it before and they might have took it down. Let's see here. Okay, I was looking at this. Whoa, whoa Vicky. She sounds like a simple-minded, bird-brained Negro, but she's the Edomite. Okay, bear me for a minute. Okay, let me put in um, yoke. Okay, here we go. Yoke of iron. Bear me for a minute. Yoke of iron. And this, that's all I put in, yoke of iron. What comes up? Deuteronomy 2848. And I did this before. I did this up more than once. Look at that. You got Gad. You got Jake, Judah. You got yokes of iron. He's wearing a Hebrew garment, slave. And they used to they thought he, they used to call us Hebos. They couldn't say Hebrews. They said Hebrews, Hebos for sale. Then they started calling us Negroes because we came from Negro land in Africa, escaping the onslaught of the Romans back in us during the time period of 66 to uh, 74. Um, A.D. Uh, ab abolishing of the British slave trade, 1805. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in the one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Deuteronomy 28, 48. Now you might say, well, that happened during the time of the Syrians. Okay, we'll go with that. Because of Deuteronomy 28, 48 says, we will suffer these curses among all the nations that we go on. I'm merely paraphrasing. It says nation. So were we put in a, uh, under a curse one time? No. We, we came under, The curse applied to us being taken down by the Babylonians, the Assyrians. The, uh, and it wasn't Egyptian because it was after Egypt. The Greeks, the Romans. And up until this point now, we came over here to serve slavery in cargo slave ships, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And this never happened. There was, there's no record of any people going to another country and saying we're for sale. We, we, we're selling ourselves as slaves. 
and people say, no, I don't want no slaves. That shit is that's stupid. That's the stupidity of Christianity. So we are those people. Ricky. Let's come on back. Our people, the Negro, Latino, Native American men, are the only people on the face of the earth today, right? But now we wake back up that don't have an actual, uh, 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 they can't trace their history back to ages, man. The first that our people go is that our grandfather or their great grandfather. So what year? What year was? Or to uh, West Africa. All right. If you go deep enough, you the, the, the so-called DNA, I'm not an expert on DNA, Hepler groups, anything like that. But um, there's no one that, to my knowledge, that went and got a DNA test. And uh, they said, well, you know what? You were one of the pharaohs back 3,500 3, years ago, 4,000 years ago. You It doesn't go for that, that far back, that far back. It, it, go, it goes back so many generations. Your father, your grandfather, your great-grandfather, your great-great-grandfather. Maybe a great-great-great-grandfather. But it ain't going back 2,000 years. Well, this is who you were 2,000 years ago. Do you know that you were one of the disciples of Jesus? Doesn't go back that far. Let's listen on. Was that Abba Bivens, you said? What year was that? We can't go no further than that. 19 what? 19 what year? 19 what? What was it? So God isn't sovereign enough to keep his word pure all throughout 2,000 years. God's not sovereign enough to have his people pure and, 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 and following him and his word pure for all that time? I'm glad Ricky Gantz said that. And you, you heard what he said. So you mean to tell me, no, the most high kept the word uh, pure. That's why we have it today. But what but it was the understanding of the word open? No. Because he thinks that uh individuals like devils like uh uh John Calvin and Jonathan, is his name Calvin? John Calvin? Some Calvin. Uh Martin Luther, they held it and uh Christopher Columbus, he held it, and this Edomite, this theologian held it. No, they held the, they held the book. They 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 held the book. They held the book, because when we got over here, the book was already over here, which which is the the, the scriptures. Did, did Esau know about it? Did understand the scriptures, and I believe some of them knew that we were the Israelites, at least the, the elite knew. But the thing was to keep us in the dark. So when we got this book, we didn't understand the book. No slave can open up this book and say, oh, we're the Israelites, this, that, and the third. When, when did this uh, information come, come up? When, um, when you go into the scriptures and we say, well, look, the scriptures speak about it. The scriptures are talking about us. We're reading about ourselves. We're looking in the mirror. So the script, this, the book, this, this knowledge, the Bible was always here, but, but this, but this knowledge of who we are, we didn't have that. It was closed. It was a mystery. It was a mystery. Let's listen to this guy again. Let me bring it back. Nineteen what? 19 what year? 19 what? What was it? So God isn't sovereign enough to keep his word pure all throughout 2,000 years. God's not. He kept it pure, but he kept it hidden. If you go to Matthew chapter 13, uh, fifth, uh, verse 52, that speaks about this is like a, a treasure that you go in to bring out old and new. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I'm not going to go to it. But this is a hidden treasure. This treasure has been hid 
for generations and now is made manifest to, to his saints. Now, if you want to put a year, or if you want to stamp a year on it, yeah, you can say 1969 or before that because I was teaching before 1969. But that was, that's a key year if you want to stamp a year on that. The, the, the Bible's always been here. The scriptures, the word of the Most High has always been here. But the understanding was closed to everyone, including us. So we're getting it now. One of the most, one of the more important people, persons in this whole thing is Abba Bivens. So he has to be Elijah, the prophet, coming back, fulfilling Malachi uh, 4, verse 5 and 6. And you Christians would never get it because you don't believe reincarnation is a is a biblical biblical is a biblical concept. A vocab can't get it, and he loses sleep over it. Sovereign enough to have his people pure and and and, and following him and his word pure. Oh, because it was cut off. The, the, the brother just mentioned it. It was cut off. Inheritance. Inheritance is talking about the land, but also who we were was cut off as a people. That's why the Lord said in Matthew 10, 5 and 6, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, because you had Israelites that were lost as to who they were and the connection with the scriptures. I'll give you a quick precept. Now, I looked up this word. I typed in the word mystery. <clears throat> it's 22. It comes up 22 times. Unto you is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without all these things are done in parables. Matthew 11, verse 25. For I would not, brethren, and ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye be wise in your own conceits. That blindness in part is happening to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So we're blinded to this truth. And the Gentiles coming in is talking about Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to to my gospel and the preaching of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach according to the revelation of the what? Mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. Because the prophets received, they saw these visions and they wrote these prophecies, but they didn't understand them. And even when the angel interpreted or broke down the, like Daniel 7, you read about Daniel 7 and the prophecy, then the angel broke down what it meant, and it's still, and, and Daniel still couldn't get it. John on the Isle of Patmos, he saw all these visions, he wrote it down, he didn't understand what was going on. He saw America in the form of a woman, and he lusted after, after America. He said, I wondered with great admiration. He lusted after her, because she, she was looking you know, you can see her thigh, you can see her, her breast. You know, it's her titties are probably out, you know, big as hell. Fat butt, thick legs. So he didn't understand that, that what that was talking about. Let's, let's do a couple more. Uh, First Corinthians 2, verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained for the world unto our glory, the Israelite glory, starting with the elect. I show you a mystery. Uh, First Corinthians 15, verse 51. 
we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Colossians 1.25, you can start at 19. And we may read 27. Even a mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his what? His saints, the elect, to whom the Most High would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, which is um, Yahweh Shai, in you, the hope of glory. There it goes again to the acknowledgement of the mystery of the Most High and of the fear and of the Father and the Messiah. Revelation 17, 17 and 7. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and ten horns. And that's a mystery to these Edomites today. What does it mean by mystery Babylon the Great? That's a mystery to these Edomites. But in but in the days of the voice, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, seventh angel, when when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of the Most High should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants, the prophets. So if you're not a prophet, you're not going to understand this book. All that time. All right, so now as you can see, the way this video started out, where he begins and says, This truth came from Abba Bivens, uh, who, who was the first to really put this truth out there, which they stem from. Now, Abba Bivens in 1960 started this group known as ISUPK, okay, which is a one West. This also proves that these Christians losing sleep. Christians are not. They're not losing sleep over Comedic, Sarnetta, and them guys, Gar Garfield and Jabari. Most I ain't talking. Most I don't. Most nobody's nobody's uh, listening to that. Nobody's talking about that. The L A D L didn't jump on any anybody in that Comedic thing. They're not. They're not going after them. You know. You know they who who they went after. Kyrie was saying he saw a movie dealing with the Hebrew Israelites. And he did it to Nick Cannon. He said, we're the Semitic people or Shemitic people. And he jumped on him. They're really not jumping on it. They're beginning to jump on this, but they're really jumping on these celebrities because they have what? Influence. If Kyrie says, oh, I saw this movie, you know, called ABC, and people say, well, I'm going to watch it too. Why do you think these, uh, these, these uh, Jakes, they get these multi-million dollar deals with, with sneaker co companies and clothing companies? Because if they make a, a shoe and they name it after uh, LeBron James or Jordan or wh whoever, people are going to go out and buy them shoes because of the influence from uh, Jordan or LeBron James or Kyrie. Kyrie got a $90 million deal with uh, Nike. And Nike already knows they're going to make billions off of, his, off of his name. So that's why they got on these guys. Branch of the Israelites. 
And this group that I am dealing with and that you are watching here is GMS. They stem from that. And so there is an ISVPK today uh, that they would disagree with and have differences with. However, um, the danger in this is, as I tried to point out there in the video that you may have seen and heard, uh, when did this start? In the 1960s? If God's truth was concealed and hidden all the way up until the 1960s, can I just bring out a handful of, and there's a lot more scriptures I could bring out. <laughs> you could bring out Daniel 12, that the book was sealed. Um, uh, what is that? Uh, matter of fact, I'll go to that. Whom shall he teach now, and who shall he make to understand doctrine? Let me, pull, let me, let me do this. I want to go right to the point. In the vision, 11 verse, Isaiah 29, 11, in the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. What, what book is sealed? The scriptures. So it's been sealed for generations. And now is made manifest to his saints, the elect of Israel, which men, so that, so that proves you wrong. You don't understand the scriptures. So you mean to tell me the, 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 the Lord, we didn't have the book. Yes, you didn't have the book. That's why when you eat a mite, you read out of the book, you didn't understand the book. When John Calvin or Jonathan Edwards, any of those theologians, when they came across the so the the uh, the Karagma, they didn't know what the hell it meant. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which is the scriptures, which men deliver to one that is learned learned, saying, "We this I pray thee." And he saith, "I cannot." For it is sealed. That's what a scholar would say. It's sealed. I don't know what it means. So this guy, Ricky, Ricky Gant, uh, uh, verse 12 applies to him. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he says, I am, I am not learned. So Ricky Gant over here, he's a small fry. He's a little guy. If he would have rolled on, rolled up on us, because the brothers, these brothers didn't want to deal with him, I would have dealt with him. He would have probably went home and committed suicide. I hate to be the one you commit suicide to. So he he's got that confidence. He really think. He's, see this fat faced red devil. He he gonna come and tell him. And see that's the problem with you Negroes. You think this man is a, a authority. He's not the authority. He's not the authority. He's, he's not the man with all the, all the answers. And he's losing sleep. Um, that is a dangerous position to think that only until then was there no truth. And then in 1960s, the truth was always there, but it was not given to people yet. What do you think it meant by, you know, Matthew 25? It said they all slumbered and slept. What did that mean? That they, 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 the truth, the most I took the truth from them. That's why we had to relearn. I will bring what? All things to your remembrance. Uh, uh, the book of Jude. What, what does it mean to remember? re meaning back to remember is a uh, part of something. Something breaks up, you remember it. You bring the members back together. So what is the Most High doing? He's bringing, bringing all things back together to us. Oh, yeah, we're the Israelites. That makes all the sense in the world. 
we can't uh, slave ship. That's us. Yokes of iron upon our neck. That's us. The truth that is being revealed. Um, that is the same thing uh, that the claims of Mormons make, Jehovah Witnesses make. Uh, they were all wrong. They were all wrong. The Seventh Day Adventists. They in the 1800s, these groups came to be known as. They were the, the true churches or the uh, reestablishing or... Uh... And none of them are. None of them are. We are the true church, starting with Peter, the earthly uh, head under Yahweh Shai. Uh, not reformed, but the, 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 the new church, this is the church God is restoring. I know the church is restoring the church. The Mormons are a bunch of bug outs. And besides, the red Mormon religion is racist. They 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 think and well in the in the book of uh the Mormons, I believe the second Nevi, I got my Mormon book somewhere around, where it says that the that the most high that God cursed um these people with uh, uh dark skin, black skin, and kinky hair. Well, wait a minute. The Most High is dark skin and get kinky here. He came down and showed himself to Daniel, the prophet. So that's clearly not a curse. And then they'll they'll use uh, Genesis. Uh, what is that? Genesis. Uh, uh, what is that? Nine and twenty-five. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not going to go to it. About the curse of Canaan, a servant shall he be. So they say, see, you guys are Canaan. No, we're not Canaanites. We're not Hamites. Even certain scholars say uh, Ham, the sons of Ham, uh, the sons of Ham are Put, Mizraim, Cush, and Canaan. And they'll say not the Negroes. The Xander Bible says that. So for them to say not the Negroes, they have to know who we are. So these, these scholars know, these top historians, Christian Bible experts know he's not an expert. He's a little guy. He's a, he's up there with uh he's on the level of a vocab. Of Jesus Christ, Joseph Smith had this vision. These people that start move these have these movements. They have these visions, or they have this new knowledge that comes to them that never was taught throughout church history. Never anywhere else you're gonna you're gonna see that. It doesn't go back to the Bible. Just all of a sudden, somebody comes up with some new truth and says. Hey, I know the truth now. We are such and such, or we are the true church, or we are the true people of God. And, and we are. We are the true people of the Most High. And they start preaching and teaching things that were never taught throughout church history uh, as it comes. Yeah, because those people in history, they didn't understand the truth. To Jesus Christ, which this group here, the GMS group, will pervert and twist who Jesus Christ is. They do not believe that Jesus he twisted the color. He's a black man. When really, he's a white man. You, you, you crackers, you devils are delusional, man. Everybody knows nowadays. Everybody knows that 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 the so-called Jesus is not a white man. That's why they don't play those. Remember, they used to play those, those movies. On Jesus, that you always used to get some hippie looking guy to play Jesus. You had one actor, a Max von Zidau. He played Jesus perfectly as a white man. And then he came back years later and he played the devil perfectly. He played the perfect Jesus, for, if you believe that he's a white man, and he played the perfect devil. Uh, the, the, the movie that he played when he played so called Jesus is the greatest story ever told. And, um, Sidney Poitier was in the movie. I believe he played a Simon the Canaanite that carried the cross. So they knew that the kids, so these people that put the movie together, they knew that Simon the Canaanite was from the land of Canaan. So he had to be black. They know that much. But so they didn't know that the, the Lord was a, a so called black man? Come on now. And then when Max Van, Van Sidao, he played the devil. It was a movie called uh, uh, what was that? The damn! It's right in the tip of my tongue. 
Needful Things, which one of the, which one of the one of the greatest movies ever made, in my opinion, my humble opinion. I mean, he 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 is the devil. He is the devil. He played the perfect Jesus and he played the perfect devil. Let's listen on. The Christ, the Messiah, is God in the flesh. They believe he is a created being. He's the son of God. Okay, he said they believe that Jesus is a created being, right? In, in compar comparable Messiah. Who who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of of the invisible power, the Father, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven. Who is the image of the invisible power, which is Yahweh Shai, or all he say, Jesus, the firstborn of what? Of every creature. So he's a creature. Triune, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You have three in heaven, but there's three separate ent entities that it's just like a football game, a football a team, an NFL team. You got the quarterback, you got the wide receiver, you got the tight end, you got uh, tackles, you got uh, you 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 got um, all these elements that make up a, uh, a football team, but they're all separate entities. Same thing in the heavens. You have the Heavenly Father, which is over the Son, and, and then you have the Holy Spirit, which represents the angels, so you can understand. This, this is basic information. Persons. They deny that. They deny the gospel of Jesus Christ. Say how stupid you Christian, monkey minded Christians are. How, how did the if 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 so called Jesus was the far God, part of part of the one and three, who came down and said, "This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased." Was God as trans tranquil trans? I can't even say that word. Trans trans. <laughs> Trans, um, I can't even say that word. Can't even say that word. Someone that speaks to somebody, a trans relic kiss. He's going to play on, on that. That's a tongue twister to me. All right. Van Ventriloquist. Van Ventriloquist. <laughs> so, you know, hey, brothers, a stammering lips and another tongue. Ventriloquist, ventriloquist. Matter of fact, let me do this so you don't think I'm going crazy. Ventriloquist. I gotta show, see how you say it. Uh, let me see. Meaning. Meaning. Hey, I said it right. I was saying tranquilloquist. Ventrilo ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. That's what I meant to say. 
but this is not my language. That Christ died, was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures say he he, he rose at, he after the after three days, so he rose on the fourth day. He rose on the fourth day. Scriptures died on the cross in accordance with the scriptures and all those that put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Among let's qualify that among Israel, among Israel, which are the elect. Christ can return to life. Galatians is clear. It's neither. Jew nor Gentile, slave nor free, man. No, actually, it's Jew nor Greek, not Gentile. But you, you can use gen, Greek and Gentiles, heathen, interchangeable. Those Greeks or those Gentiles or those heathen are talking in the New Testament that received blessings or salvation are Israelites that didn't necessarily know that they were Israelites. I did a thing on Cornelius. Cornelius was an Israelite whose parents taught him that he was a heathen, but he, he said, no, I got to be an Israelite. And the angel came in, and the, the Lord brought him, had a meeting with him and, and Peter, and he became one of the believers. Why? Because he was an Israelite. Female, but they are all one in Jesus Christ, as it says in Galatians 3.28, and that's talking about in salvation. Also in Galatians, it says the very next verse, 329, that all those who have believed become joint heirs. Joint heirs, that's in Romans uh, uh, 8 and 16. Joint, we are joint heirs. It's talking about Israel. Become sons of Abraham. Uh, and so they pervert and twist the gospel. This is why it is dangerous because. You can't see it because you're not an Israelite. You're not one of the elect. You're not one of the people of the Most High. You're just a confused Edomite. But if you take a position and say, this truth came about in 1960 or in the 1900s, 1800s, whatever. It, it became manifest. The books were open at a, at a particular starting point in the, in the modern world. Alva Bivens was a key character, in, which is a prophet, that brought this thing to light, fulfilling um, uh, prophecy. This, this truth from the 1800s on came about to be that, um, as I said, like the Mormons say, the Holy Witnesses say, the uh, Seventh-day Adventists say, these new movements that come around um, and say that they are the true church or true people of God and after all this time God was not able to keep his word pure to keep his people from being deceived to keep his people we were all deceived we were all de deceived that's what look when we came over here and served slavery why didn't we say well we're the Israelites why didn't the slave the, the, the slaves get together and say well see Deuteronomy 28 you did their work in the field and, and down south some goddamn where on some plantation and you got these jakes teaching other jakes that we are those people. See, we, how do we come over here? And slave ships, right? You see Zeke over there? He got the, he got the, uh, he tried to run away and what they did, they chopped his foot off and they put a yoke of iron around his neck. Let's read that. No. They didn't know. And they had the Bible. They had the Bible. They couldn't read the Bible. Most of them couldn't read. And there was a law against a, 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 a slave being able to read. Why? And especially the Bible. They said in certain plantations, maybe all of them, if they got caught reading the Bible, they put them to death. I don't know how true that is. I don't have the facts in front of me, but I heard that. Okay, Ricky Gantz. advanced upon by Satan, as the Bible says, Jesus says, you're Satan. <laughs> you're looking at Satan. I will build my church, church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. For them to... Exactly. Because we all slumbered and slept. And in that slumbering, sleeping, we, were, we went 
you know, the, the whole uh, siege of Jerusalem took place. We fled outside of Jerusalem. A lot of us fled in Africa. A lot of us fled in Europe. We had relatives in Europe. A lot of us fled down in Egypt because you had a big community of, of Israelites down there. And we migrated to the, to the West. And we're talking about more than a thousand years, you know, 1500 years, give or take. So in that time, we could have migrated from the east uh, coast of Africa to the west coast. Say, as the Mormons, the Jehovah Witnesses, the Seventh day Adventists, uh, and this group here, the, the GMS or any of the Hebrew Israelites, for them to say that. God wasn't revealing this truth or this truth was hidden until 1960 or any of these other dates. Didn't give a year. But if you go to Obadiah, it says, when you set your nest among the stars, then so I bring you down. And that was 69, 70. So if you want to stamp a year on it as this truth coming out, you can say 69, but it goes back to the 1800s. by these false groups, false cults, is to say that God, Jesus Christ, lied and deceived people by saying the church, that Satan will not prevail against the church, that somehow Satan has prevailed against the church, and it was hidden and concealed up until Satan has prevailed against the Israelites, fulfilling prophecy. As they say, 1960s when Abba Bibbin started this truth, Okay, this is not true. God's word has been preserved. God's people have been here. The gates of hell have not prevailed. Yeah. God's people have been here, which are the Israelites over here and Americans scattered around the planet Earth. The church, the church has grown ever since uh, Jesus Christ came and died on the cross and bringing that mystery as we see of the two peoples of God to one. It's one people of God. Two peoples into one. People of God, Jew and Jew. Guy's an idiot. <laughs> this guy's a real. He's he's a he's a small fry. He's a small fry. The two that's a, he's quoting uh, Ephesians two and eleven. It's talking about the the two kingdoms coming back together. Well, the Gentiles, Judah, that was already in that part of the land, that region of the planet, uh, coming back together with the. The, the Israelites that knew that they were Israelites and ultimately the Israelites on the other side of the planet. Uh, let me let me see if I can find it. Bear me for a minute. I'm almost positive it's in St. John 12. I'm not sure. Let's try that. Could be 12, could be 10. Let me just do it this way. Nope. Let me do it this way. Man. Uh, fold. Okay, I, I was thinking about 10. I thought it was 12. Uh, St. John 10, verse 16. And other sheep, sheep I, I, I have, which are not of this fold, them also. Who's, who is the Lord talking about? The, the northern kingdom. Also, I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall be one fold and one shepherd. And now it's talking about Judah or Israel getting that no knew that they were Israelite coming back with the like Cornelius and Gentiles. But ultimately it's talking about the northern kingdom getting back with the southern kingdom, the fulfillment of uh, Ezekiel 37. Because they're sheep too. One people 
God. All those that by faith, put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ shall be saved. All those who believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ and he died, was buried, rose again on the third day, will have eternal life. It's not a works-based salvation. Jesus Christ, who is God, came down to reconcile man unto himself by dying on the cross, laying down his life, and all those who faith and trust in him. That's what they fail to see. It, it, it is a works-based religion. It is a... There he goes, works. No, we, we, we have faith. We believe by faith, not by works. Although when you come into the faith, that's in James, I believe that's James 2. You got to have works. You got to have works with the faith. That proves your faith. Read that in James. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom. I'm on to the next one.